Hello and welcome to another step-by-step -step how to tie tutorial video. This is the Mylar Minnow. This is tied on a size 2. This is a must-add 3366 BR hook. For a tying thread, I am using a red uni thread. This is a 3 aught. The eyes up front are a painted white dumbbell eye, size medium. The inner body consists of a red mylar tube. And the outer body consists of this holographic golden mylar tube. So let's go ahead and remove our sample. And we can secure our blank hook in the vise. And like all good flies, this will begin with a single wrap of thread. And we'll start this right behind the eye of the hook. Take a couple wraps rearward, securing our thread. And we can trim off our tag end. A couple more wraps, locking that all down. And at this point, we will secure our dumbbell eye directly behind the eye of the hook. And we'll do this taking crossing wraps. I'm going to take a couple wraps in this direction turn and then come at a different angle and take a couple of wraps this way. Take a few wraps around the shank of the hook and I'll repeat that process a couple of times. And now I'm going to go under the eyes and over the shank. Under the eye, over the shank. Draw that nice and tight and that takes all those cross wraps and brings those in together. Keeping my thread directly behind the eye of the hook, I'm going to come in with my red mylar tube, and I want this to completely circle the shank of the hook. So in order to do that, I'm going to remove the hook from the vise carefully, and I'm going to insert the tip of the hook into the mylar tube. And about halfway, I will let the hook come out. And slide that up and around. Excellent. Securing the mylar to the hook directly behind the eyes. A couple tight locking wraps. And then I'm going to come forward of the eyes and just take a couple of wraps. And I'm going to come back. And that's going to keep everything from spinning around too much. I'm going to come in with my scissors and trim off my little frayed edge. And one last stubborn one. Excellent. Once that's secured, I'm just going to take a couple more wraps. I can take my thread forward of the eyes, and I'm going to come in with my whip finish tool and take a couple of turns. Once that's secured, trim off my thread, and I'm just going to come directly to the rear, to the bend of the hook. And I'm just going to take a locking bite. I'm going to come under and just get a couple of wraps just over the bare shank of the hook. Keep that pulled nice and tight. Once that's secured, I'm going to come in with my tine, or my scissors and trim off that tine thread. And this back end here, that will end up getting frayed out, but just for uh, neatness sake, I'm just going to leave that all together for now. Next, I'm going to take my mylar tube, I'm going to fold it in half, this golden holographic. And I can take the eye of the hook, and I'm going to pierce it and fold it over. I'm just going to tie one side in at a time. I'm going to do the top first. A couple of locking wraps. I'm going to come in with the bottom.
really pinch that down nice and tight. And again, I'm just going to take a couple of wraps over that bare shank of the hook underneath. Excellent. Once that's all secured, I'm going to come in and do a hand whip finish here at the back end. One, two, three. Draw our thread nice and tight. And we'll trim off our tying thread. Next we can come in with our bodkin. Really fray these edges out. And this bottom piece, we'll want to get some of it down and around to the far side of the hook. We'll just encourage a couple of fibers over there. Really work that tail. I like it. All right, now we're going to finish the body with some UV clear. This is the thick. And we're going to come in and we're going to fill the whole side of the body with this. Both sides. We'll start with the near side. Get right up there behind those eyes. Really fill that in. We'll kind of let that level itself out a little bit. We can always come back and add just a little bit more to fill any holes that may have soaked their way through. Once we got a quick zap on the near side, we'll flip our fly over and hit the far side. And really work it in. Excellent. Kind of let that level itself out here for a quick second, and we'll give it a quick zap with the ultraviolet light. And then to finish things off, we're going to come in with a little bit of some thin UV, because I see a little hole here that needs to get filled. And I like to give things just a quick set with the quick zap of light a little bit at a time. I'm going to do this over the thread. And we'll do a quick set on that. And once this fly is completely finished, I will sit here with a flashlight for just a few moments and spend a little bit more time uh, curing all this UV resin. But for now, we'll just do a quick set. And it's always good to put the caps back on your bottle. go there you have it folks that is a mylar minnow tied on a size 2 hook thank you for watching happy tying and with this one tight lines